Hi, Pat Love back. Real quick, this is a short one. One thing I want you to remember to do. Pray this prayer. Lord, if I'm late, out of, you know, no fault of my own or if it's something that I forgot to do or whatever, even if it is my fault, but if I'm late and it's something that's really pertinent, I have to be on time or early. Would you see to it that the people waiting for me are later than I am, that they are held up by some fluke that you set up so that when I get there, they're not there. And when they get there, I look like I'm on time. Would you do that for me? Crazy, crazy prayers like that get answered, you guys. That has happened for me. I can't tell you how many times. Uh, there have been times when I was on my way to the hair salon, just to give you a quick example. And my husband would, I got him all cleaned up. We, he had his meds, his breakfast. He's going to sit there and watch TV and wait for the, for the dialysis guys to come take him to dialysis. And I have an appointment and I'm doing real good and I'm going to be on time. And as I'm heading out the door, Pat, yeah, what's wrong? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Well, what's wrong? I, I, I need you to change me again. There goes that prayer. Okay, Lord, cover me now. <laughs> cover me in Jesus' name. <laughs> and I may may not have been able to reach the person to let them know that I'm going to be late. So now I got to do what I got to do. And I've got to clean him up. I've got to change him. I've got to wash him off, change his diaper, get him all, and put his clothes back on him, get him squared away once again. I have learned so many times that God has answered that prayer that when that would happen, I wouldn't be all flustered because I already know God's got my back. And what would happen? I get to the shop or before I leave the house, ring, ring, hello. I'm thinking, oh Lord, I hope it's not there wondering where I am. Hello, I'm so sorry I'm so late. I really hope that I'm not holding you up, but I'm going to need another 30 minutes. Is that okay? Oh, okay, no problem. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Thanks for understanding. I hang up the phone and I'm looking up like, you did it again. <laughs> Pray those kind of prayers, you guys. There's so many ways God can cover you. You've got an important business thing you've got to deal with. You've got to close a deal and your car messes up. You better pray that God covers you on the other end so that you come out smelling like a rose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Something can happen with a person. There, they get a flat tire or they don't know that their car is on E and they have to stop at the gas station in order not to run out of gas on the way to see you. I mean, the craziest things, God will work all kind of stuff or they get a call and they just can't seem to get off the phone. It's an important call and they have to handle it and they handle it and then they see the time and now they're begging you for understanding and mercy. And the only reason they're late is because God made them late to cover you. I'm telling you, that stuff works. It really works. So you keep praying those prayers. Don't hold back on your requests. Because sometimes, according to the Bible, we have not simply because we ask not. God bless you.